This exponential function is a little bit uh, mixed. Graph y equals to 4 minus 2 raised to the x minus 3 power. Um, now we can actually use, use what you learned about transformations from an earlier chapter to graph this because uh, we just graph y equals 2 to the x and this means we're going to shift it 3 units to the right we're going to reflect it and then we're going to shift it up by 4 units so we could could actually uh, use graph transformations to graph this I think I'll go with the uh, xy chart approach though and um, just for something a little different there alright so uh, here's x and y and we'll start plugging some numbers in so if x is, um, how about we start with 1 again, then this is going to be 4 minus 2 to the 1 minus 3, that's 4 minus 2 to the negative 2 power, which would be 4 minus 1 fourth, wouldn't it? 2 to the minus 2 is 1 over 2 squared, 1 fourth. 4 minus 1 fourth would be 3 and 3 fourths. Alright, so I'll write 3 and 3 fourths here. If I go to 2, let's see, we're going to have 4 minus 2 to the 2 minus 3, which is 4 minus 2 to the negative 1. 4 minus 1 half is 3 and 1 half. All right, so if I go to 3, I've got 4 minus 2 to the 3 minus 3. That's 4 minus 2 to the 0. 2 to the 0 is 1. So my answer is 3. And 4 would be 4 minus 2 to the 4 minus 3. 4 minus 2 to the first is 2. 5 will be 4 minus 2 to the... Uh, it'll be 2 to the second power, which is 4. So 4 minus 4 is 0. When I plug in 6, I get 4 minus 2 to the 3rd, which is uh, 4 to the 4 minus 8, which is negative 4. And let's do one more. 7 will be 4 minus 2 to the 4th. 4 minus 16 is negative 12. All right, so uh, there's a, a chart of numbers we can work off of. And uh, if I went to 0... Uh, you know, I don't think I want to plot 12, so I'm going to erase the last line and, and uh, calculate this when x is equal to 0. So let's see what happens there. And uh, that would be 4 minus 2 to the negative third, which is 4 minus 1 eighth. All right, because this, this is 1 over 2 to the third power, 1 eighth. 4 minus 1 eighth is 3 and 7 eighths. All right, so I think we've, you know, you might have to do a little trial and error to get the a good collection of numbers there to graph, and which is what I sort of did. So I'm going to erase this clutter here and, and retain our column, and then we'll, we'll graph it and see what it looks like. And uh, do you see where the asymptote's going to be? You know, what The asymptote describes the, again, it describes the limiting behavior of the function at, on at least one side of the function. <clears throat> so, um, it should jump out at us as we graph it. Alright, so, get my grid up here, and we do have, we do have a negative number, so, in the y, so, I'll do it this way. And it looks like it goes up to close to 4 in the positive end, and my numbers go down to negative 4. Of course, I think it's going to continue further below. And let's see, we have uh, a preponderance of numbers on the right side. Okay, so let me plot these out. And I've got 1 comma, 3 and 3 fourths, right there, 2, 3 and a half, and then 3 comma 3, 4 comma 2, 5 comma 0, and 6 negative 4. 
Now we also have 0, 3, and 7 eighths. Okay, so does it look like to you that it's going to curl over and drop down? Indeed it does. And in fact, where is it leveling off? It's, I can tell you, it's going to level off at, at 4. So let me draw my, my asymptote in there. 4, 3, 2, 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Put a couple numbers on the graph. All right, it's, it's leveling off an asymptote at 4, then it curls over and drops down. Now oh, that's pretty close. I, I kind of missed. But anyway, that's, that's about the idea there. All right, so we'll just make them fit. <laughs> okay. Why is, as, why is the asymptote 4? Well, if you look at the exponential function part, the simple exponential function part of this, at some point, this, on one side or the other, one place is going to shrink down to 0. It's going to get smaller and smaller, leaving 4 left over. So in this case, the asymptote is 4. And actually, in calculus, we call it the horizontal asymptote. So the horizontal asymptote is 4, and I indicated that with a dotted line. So you should, in these graphs, um, show the asymptote with a dotted line. And, uh, you know, if, if people are sloppy, they, they tend to not do that, and then they just keep graphing up and up, and then they've, they've screwed up the graph. Because the graph really does level off at 4. It, it gets as close to 4 as you want without it um, literally touching it at all. And on the right side, it's... It's growing in the negative direction, so um, this is sort of a, uh, a reflection of an exponential growth function, you might say. All right, well, anyway, that's the idea there, and um, again, I'm just real careful about plugging numbers in. I do find students get pretty careless over here when they're calculating these things, so um, be real careful. If you see something that's out of whack, you know, suppose I get a point that's down here. But everything else is correct. Well, the graph is not going to take a detour. <laughs> um, it's, it's obviously wrong. So don't, you know, check your work, find an error, and fix it. Okay, well, that's uh, the graph of, of that function.